In this video, I'm going to show you how you can rotate an object, rotate it around another object, and also make it do both at the same time like we see here right now. Open a new Unity project, and we're going to create a plane and name it ground. This is going to be our ground in the scene. Let's reset the transform and then scale it up to 20, which should be big enough for our scene. Now let's create a material for it. I'm just going to call this blue material drag it onto our ground, and then we're gonna set the color to blue. Now let's put a cube in our scene. And let's duplicate this material. We'll call it red material. And let's set this to red and then drag it onto our cube. Now I'm just gonna find a camera view that I like. And a very handy trick is if you select your camera and you hit Control Shift F, it's the shortcut to, to set the view of the camera to what you currently see in the scene view, and this is very handy to use. Now let's add a script to our cube and call it rotate, and then we'll open that in Visual Studio. We don't need the start method, so we can just delete that out of here right now. And what we're gonna use is transform.rotate. And if you look at the description here in the, the pop-up, it shows it takes in a vector three of Eulers. Uh, what this means is instead of having to create fancy rotations, you can just store a vector three and whatever value is in that vector three is the same thing you're gonna see as the rotation value in the transform in your inspector. So it'll make more sense here in a, a minute. Let's try this out with vector three dot up. And all that is is a vector that's zero on the X, one on the Y, zero on the Z. And if we go into our game and run it, you're going to see it's spinning very fast. So because we're not using time.delta time, go back into our code and we'll add multiply time.delta time. And this will spread it out evenly over the frame. So it's the same speed on all computers. And if we play it now, it's going to be very slow. So it barely looks like it's moving, but you can see that it's moving. So let's go back into our script here. Let's make a public float. We'll call it rotate speed. And this is gonna be the speed that it rotates at. We'll set this to 20F, which means the cube will rotate 20 degrees every second. Now let's multiply our vector by time.delta time times rotate speed. And let's go and run it again. And you're gonna see the cube spinning a lot faster this time. So just to explain this a bit more, here we're using vector3.up, which is one on the y-axis. If we select our, our cube and you look at the three axes here, um, the green one is the y, uh, red is x, and if you look in the inspector, if we rotate on the x, you see it spins almost like there's a pin going through it on the x-axis, and you're turning the pin to make the object rotate. So to see that actually work in code, let's change vector 3.up to vector 3.right, and this is gonna make it rotate on that same x-axis. So think of it like a pen going through the, the red arrow and turning the pen, that makes the cube spin. Uh, sometimes it, it's hard to visualize which axis is gonna rotate which direction when you're using them. That's the easiest way I find to remember it is I just look at the axis and think of it like you're gonna twist that axis, and that's how it turns. Now I'm going to show a quick example how you can actually make your own vector for this instead of using vector3.right or dot up any of that. So let's just create a, a vector3, we'll call it rotation vector, and we'll set this to 45 on the x, 0 on the y, and 45 on the z. So this way it rotates on two axes at the same time. And now let's go change our vector3.right to be our rotation vector. And let's go run our game and you're going to notice it's very fast now. That's because our, our vector is using 45, whereas like vector 3.up only uses one. So we really do have to lower the speed for this to, to look similar. So let's just decrease that to one, run it again. And now you'll see our cubes actually rotating on two different axes at the same time. It's not as visible, so let's just crank up the Z here. And now you're gonna see it kind of starts to swivel a lot faster in with the rotation. Now I'm gonna show you how you can make this cube rotate around another object. So let's create a sphere. And we're just gonna scale it down a bit. It doesn't need to be that big. 
So I'm going to use 0.25. And then let's just move it off to the side a little bit here. And I'm also just gonna bring our cube down a little bit just so it's on the, the same level. Just makes it easier to view in the scene here. I'm gonna rename the sphere to pivot as this is gonna be the, the point that our cube kind of pivots around. So I don't know if pivot's even the right word for that, but it works. Okay, so I'm going to make a public transform and we're going to call it pivot transform. And I'm just making this public so it's easy to see in the inspector and then we can drag in our, our pivot to it. And let's comment out this rotate for now so the object's not going to rotate at all. And this time we're going to use transform.rotate around. And if you look, there's actually two different ways you can use it. We're going to use the second overload here. So if you click on the little arrow, it'll cycle between them. So this one's showing it's going to take in a vector three point, and this is going to be the point that it rotates around, and then in a vector three axis, and that's which axis you're going to rotate on. And the angle is basically how many degrees per second it's going to rotate around. So let's set this to the position of the, the pivot transform. And for the axis, let's use vector three dot up. And then for the speed, we're gonna create another variable here. We'll make this one public again as well and we'll call it orbit speed. And we'll set that to five. Now let's add in our orbit speed and we'll multiply that by time dot delta time again. Now let's go back into Unity and we need to select our cube and then drag in the pivot into the pivot transform position. And now let's click run. And you can see it's very slow. So we can actually update this in the inspector while it's running. So let's just up the orbit speed. And now you see it's actually spinning around that, that pivot that we made. This works very much the same way as the transform.rotate. So if we go back into the script, we can change vector 3 dot up to right. And now you're going to see it's going to orbit on a completely different axis. So this one should actually go through the ground. And we just got to up the orbit speed again. So yeah, now you see it's actually going through and it's, it's still orbiting the same way, just in a different direction now. Okay, so let's actually go back. We're going to change that back to vector three dot up and save that and go back into the game. And we're just going to change the orbit speed in the inspector to 60 here. So it starts as that every time we run the game. Okay, so when we run the game right now, it's still doing the same orbit around like it was before. But what if we wanted the cube to also rotate on a different axis? We can just go uncomment our line using the transform.rotate and we can have it do both at the same time. So now it's going to rotate on that vector that we created while it's orbiting around. So I hope you get a few basic ideas of how you can use simple rotations this way. Um, doing it this way, it's very simple. You don't need quaternions. You don't need to calculate any kind of rotation. Uh, you do still need to know all that stuff when you want to start getting into more fancy things and having your objects look at other objects and follow them. But say if you just want simple objects to you know move around your scene, do some rotations, orbit around something, these methods should work perfectly. So thanks for watching. If you like it, click like and subscribe and I'll keep trying to get some more basic videos out. And I think I'm going to try doing some more on layer masks and ray casting next. If you have any other ideas, just let me know and I'll try to get them out. Thanks.